Hey, what's up, guys? Yeah, today, so yeah, so today let's talk about some interesting, uh, topic that uh, this is called a CH SH game. All right, so uh, usually this is showing the quantum information, and also uh, there's a uh research called quantum game theory. And uh, the first time I heard about this, uh, these results uh, also blow blow up my mind. So. Yeah, so today I will introduce uh, what is CHSH game and explain what the uh, what the idea behind. It. Okay, so the, the basically this kind of game is basically like uh, there's a, a inequality in the quantum information called the Bell inequality. Uh, but basically the first uh non-trivial thing in the quantum information is that there is a kind of object called entanglement, and uh, this entanglement will will claim that uh, basically in the quantum mechanics there is a is this object called Bell pair. So you can imagine that uh, there is a qubit, uh, two, two qubit system, and uh, there is a Bell state. Basically, it can be written as zero zero plus one one. Okay. So the idea is that uh, so this game, right, this CHSH game, is settings that uh, there is a Alice and Bob, and uh, there is a game called Char. Uh, there is a, a referee called Charlie, and uh, these are these two 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 guys. They are cooperative, so they will, they want to win the game. Okay, so this game is very weird. That the Charlie will send x and y, so x y belongs to like zero or, or one. So either x is zero or y is zero. Either x is one, y is one, and uh, a a uniform random. So there is a uh uh there is one divided by four uh ch chance that uh that uh. Uh, zero 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 one one zero one one, and the uh, Alice need to output A, and the Bob need to output B, and they win. If A, uh, bit or B equals to sorry the so this is the uh, X or bit, X or B A X or B, so this is X or equals to X times Y, okay, so X or let me just describe so X or means that zero zero zero. 0, 1 is 1, 1, 0 is 1, 1, 1 is 0. Okay. So x, y uniform random, and uh, and the uh, Alice output A and the Bob output B, and uh, if they win, if A, x, or B equals to x times y. Okay. So uh, the problem is that uh, they are not allowed to communicate. Okay. So they are not allowed to communicate. So, okay. So if they are allowed to communicate, then Alice can talk. So Alice can tell Bob that X is what is X, so that they can like easy win a game, right? Because if Alice know whether X and Y that, and Bob also know it, then they can easily just choose the answer. Okay. Okay. So uh, so there's a a fact that uh, I will not give the proof, but basically that you can think about it. So fact is that uh, the maximum winning probability, so the maximum. Win prop for the for the game for Alice and Bob, right? Is seventy five percent. Okay, so the classical it means if they cannot compute, then the maximum probability that Alice and Bob is uh they can win seventy five percent, and the reason is very simple because uh that a because I mean because we know that the uh, x y is zero right and with probability. Three divided by four, and with probability that one divided by uh one divided by four is one. So Alice can just can just output uh zero, and the Bob all Bob all always output zero. So they they both output zero. Okay, so that means that they can win uh, what uh, they can win three quarter of the game, right? Because uh the probability that uh, the probability x is y is zero is Three divided by four, right? So Alice can up zero and Bob can up zero, and then you can prove that this is a maximum winning strategy. So basically, if you, uh, doing other kind of strategy because Alice and Bob cannot communicate, uh, with each other, so this is the best. Okay, uh, but, but the the interesting thing is that uh, in the quantum mechanics, that Alice and Bob can share some, can share the entangle. Okay, so there is a case that Alice and Bob lay. Are not allowed to communicate, but there is a bell pair here, so they can share with a strange bell bell pair. Okay, 
And uh, so the theorem is really, really weird. So there is a quantum strategy. So they can do the measurement, use this bell pair. And uh, so there is a quantum strategy such that uh, the winning probability uh, is higher than 75%. And I guess it's like two plus square root of two divided by four. And then you can prove that this is greater than three divided by four. Okay. And uh, yeah, this is very weird. Okay, so this is the fact that uh, one can, uh, this is the theorem that we are going to prove. Okay, so I'm not going to prove that this is the best, but I'm going to tell you that why uh, this this uh, strategy is. So bear pair doesn't doesn't give you the give you to communicate right because this is the quantum information that uh, this bear pair is not allow you to do any communication, but allow you to make a correlation. Right, so there is a correlation between Alice and Bob. Uh, if they share a bell pair. Okay. So let me just describe the, uh, let me just describe the, the strategy. Okay. So the strategy is a little bit complicated. So let me just write down. So if Alice receive uh, X equals zero, let me just, then Alice, Measure uh, measures using uh, using uh, zero one basis. Okay, so just standard basis, standard D basis, and Alice outputs output zero if it got the zero eigenstates. If you got one, you output one. Okay, so this is the Alice strategy, and uh, if Alice receive x equals to one. And the Alice use the x basis, so it is use plus or minus basis. And the Alice outputs. Uh, if we got plus, the output zero, and the minus the output one. Okay. And uh, okay, so third, okay, so third is weird. Let me just introduce a very weird basis. So let's say let's introduce a zero. A zero is cosine pi divided by eight. 0 plus sine pi divided by 8, 1, okay? And then we, I can construct another called A1, right? A1 just basically also going on to this. So I minus sine pi divided by 8, 0 plus cosine pi divided by 8, 1. And I can also define B0 to be cosine pi divided by 8, 0 minus sine pi divided by 8, 1. And the B1 is basically... uh cosine pi divided by a zero plus sine pi divided by a one. Okay. So you can check that these two are also good. No, these two are also good. Okay. Uh, obviously that, uh, yeah, obviously that all of them are also good, right? So these two are also also good. And, uh, yeah. Uh, Right, yeah. So obviously that uh, right this everything is right, yeah. It's they're all all the are they all these are linear independent. Uh, they are all different and they're all also going to each other. Right, because you can see that a zero dot a one is zero and the a zero dot b oh a, uh, it's not it's not also gonna but a, oh yeah a zero and a one are so gonna b zero b one are so gonna yeah okay and they're all different okay Okay, so uh, so Bob, so if Bob receive uh y equals zero, then then Bob, then Bob use uh a zero and a one basis to measure, right? So so uh, Bob can get the uh, a Bob output zero if it's a zero, and if a one, then output minus one. Okay, and the first one, as I said, first one is basically if Bob got uh, if Bob got y equals to one, then Bob use uses b zero and uh, b one, and uh, so Bob outputs zero if he get b zero, if he get b one output minus one, uh, sorry, output plus uh, output one. Okay, so this is the strategy. 
right? So every time somebody get X, I just do it. Uh, I just depend on uh, X zero or one, and Bob get Y equal zero one. Oh, by the way, this is one. Sorry about this. Okay, and uh, right, this is very weird. Okay, so let's do some uh proof. Okay, proof. So hopefully you understand this idea. Okay, so let's do some quick analysis. Uh, analysis is much more complicated than for four four analysis, but we can do that. Uh, one simple case. Okay, so suppose suppose uh x is zero, y is zero, right? So in this case, they are all zero, right? So this is a or B, right? So, so in this case, that Alice and Bob uh, need to output uh, either A zero or B. They are the same, right? To win, to to uh, to win. Okay. Okay. So we need to need need to calculate the probability that uh, the probability that uh, Alice gets zero and Bob gets zero, right? So in this case, that Alice will choose zero, and uh, in this case, Bob will choose A zero. Okay, so we just need to compute the a zero, sorry, zero tensor a zero. So we just need to like, compute zero tensor uh, a zero, uh, times with these bell states and uh, do the mass mass square. Right, this is the rules in the quantum com uh, information. So we get zero and a zero and compute with the square root of two zero zero plus one one the square. Okay, so since it's zero, right? So after it's zero, it must be like zero, zero, right? So I can just take a one of square root of two and calculate a zero dot with zero. So this a zero dot with this is the zero in the uh, Bob case, so square. And by definition, right, a zero, let's say, right? So a zero is cosine pi divided by eight. So this guy is half of cosine pi divided by eight square, okay? And I can also calculate one and the tensor a one, right? Because the in order to they they need to win that they can they need to they can also output one, right? Both output one, so it's square. And the uh, if it is one, then you get one one, right? And if it's a one times one, so basically you just one over square. So this is square, square root two, and the a one phi square, and then this is. Sorry, uh, this is just one, right? So a one dot uh one, a one dot one, is also cosine pi divided by eight, right? So this is well set set it. So half of cosine square, uh pi, divided by eight. Okay, so that means that the the pro the winning probability is sum of them, right? So if x equals zero, y equals zero, then the we the the Alice can and Bob and Bob. The winning probability of Alice and Bob is cosine square pi divided by eight. Okay, so we analysis this right. Amazingly, amazingly, <laughs> if x equals one and y equals one, and Alice and Bob, the winning probability is always cosine pi square divided by eight. And then if x is zero, y equals zero, other y equals one, then Alice and Bob is always also cosine pi square divided by eight, and the same. Okay, so I just make an analysis on this one. And I think uh, you can check for the rest, right? Because this uh, number are very, very well crafted so that they can make this situation. Okay, and uh, but all these are uniform random, right? Because I, I have a uniform random choice to choose x equals zero, y equals zero. So the winning probability that uh, Alice and Bob can do is cosine pi squared divided by eight. And uh, uses two cosines square pi divided by eight is uh, cosine or is five plus one. So this is one plus square root of two divided by two. So this guy is uh, two plus square root of two divided by four. And obviously that this guy is greater than three divided by four. Okay. So this is the, this is the very weird object called CHSH again. So basically, if if two of them they can win this weird game, uh, with higher probability that higher than the seventy five percent, then the this is, this is weird. Uh, this is this this means that they have some quantum weird quantum correlation. Uh, I have a remark that uh, one can prove the weird uh this strategy. 
Uh, it's, uh, it's optimal. And also there's a idea called rigid, rigidity. Okay. So basically uh, all the rest of this, if, if there's another way to reach this high, uh, this uh, winning probability, they must share a spell pair. Okay, so so in some sense that the the strategy is not uh, optimal, not only optimal but unique. Okay, and this uh, kind of thing is deeply related to the bell inequality that I will talk in the uh, next videos. See you guys.